Thanks to Masterworks for sponsoring today's video. With the extreme popularity of Tesla vehicles, along with their recent price cuts, it's safe to say there will be a ton of new Tesla owners this year. And although Tesla makes it easy to order a car online in just a few minutes, the one mistake you don't want to make is choosing the wrong Tesla to buy because there are some important differences you may not know about. But don't worry, I'm here to help. I've been through this process twice with my 2018 Model 3 and my 2022 Model Y. So this Tesla Buyer's Guide video will walk you through everything you need to know about the current Tesla vehicles in 2023, and I'll explain which one is best for you based on your needs. No matter which Tesla model you buy, you're going to get a vehicle that excels in many different aspects. First is safety, which is Tesla's number one priority, and they've proven it by engineering their vehicles to be the safest in the world. With an all-electric architecture, Tesla vehicles have a very low probability of rollover risk and occupant injury. In fact, Tesla has achieved a 5-star safety rating for all its vehicles, but the Model 3 in particular received the lowest probability of injury of all cars that the US government has ever tested. A Tesla's battery pack position and weight reduces rollover risk and improves emergency avoidance handling, and there are eight exterior cameras that provide surrounding visibility to the vehicle's computer, and all Teslas come standard with automatic emergency braking, forward collision warning, blind spot collision warning, and lane departure avoidance. The next benefit of a Tesla is software. All Tesla vehicles come with a center touchscreen running Tesla's proprietary software that controls nearly all aspects of the car, and Tesla owners can also use the free mobile app to control certain functions of the car from wherever you are since all Tesla vehicles come with a built-in LTE cellular connection that maintains a constant internet connection. And all Tesla vehicles come with the standard connectivity package for eight years, which gives you access to most connectivity features over Wi-Fi, in addition to basic maps and navigation and music streaming over Bluetooth. And all new vehicles also come with a free trial of the premium connectivity package that provides the ability to access all connectivity features over cellular and Wi-Fi for the most comprehensive ownership experience, which includes live traffic visualization, Sentry mode live camera view, satellite view maps, video streaming, karaoke, music streaming, and a web browser. Now, after the free trial ends, the optional premium connectivity costs $10 a month or $99 a year. Now, the cool part is Tesla frequently releases free software updates for all vehicles that automatically get downloaded, so this is a unique way for the car to essentially get better over time. But Tesla's best software perk is probably Autopilot, which is the advanced safety and convenience features that are designed to assist you with the most burdensome parts of driving, and this comes standard with all vehicles. Autopilot enables your car to steer, accelerate, and brake automatically within its lane, and for an additional $6,000, you can purchase Enhanced Autopilot, which adds more features such as Navigate on Autopilot, Auto Lane Change, Auto Park, and Smart Summon. And for an optional one-time fee of $15,000 or $200 a month, you can get access to full self-driving capability, which includes all of the features of Enhanced Autopilot, but also adds traffic light and stop sign control and auto steer on city streets, which is currently referred to as FSD Beta. Now, having the FSD capability, it also should allow you to receive all future updates and features that Tesla releases. Now, here's my recommendation regarding Tesla's driver assistance options. For people that drive less than the nationwide average, basic autopilot that comes with a car should be enough. If you drive more than the nation average and take a lot of road trips, then consider enhanced autopilot. And if you like to be an early adopter and want to be on the cutting edge of Tesla's journey to full autonomy, then maybe splurge for FSD capability for $200 a month for a few times a year. Now, last but not least, owning a Tesla gives you all the benefits of an all-electric vehicle, including the lack of an engine, which gives room for front trunks to add more storage space. Also, no more stopping at gas stations, no more oil changes, only paying for electricity, which is usually much cheaper than gas, less maintenance due to fewer moving parts, a very quiet drive, and instant torque for quick acceleration. Now, for charging, you have two options at the time of order, wall connector or mobile connector. I almost always recommend the mobile connector because it gives you more versatility for less money. Not only can you take it with you for charging on the go, but I've been using the mobile connector as my daily home charger plugged into a NEMA 1450 outlet, which has been working fine for almost five years now. now the wall connector certainly looks cool and nice and clean and can charge fast, but not much faster than a mobile charger can on a 240 volt outlet. Now the mobile charger can also charge on a regular outlet, which can honestly meet a lot of drivers home charging needs as long as you're driving 50 miles or less per day. But whichever you choose, it doesn't change the fact that one of the best parts of owning a Tesla is charging at home overnight so you always wake up to a full charge for daily driving. 
Now, before we go over the vehicles, there are a few things to know. First, all new Tesla purchases require a destination fee of around $1,400 and an order fee of $250, both of which are additional expenses separate from the car's listed price on the design page. So as I go over each vehicle in the video, I'll add that to the starting price for a more accurate final cost. There's also a new EV tax credit in the US that can make you eligible for a federal tax credit of up to $7,500 for certain Model 3 and Model Y orders. And as you configure your Tesla, the order page should tell you if your current configuration is eligible or not. But even if you do see that, I suggest contacting a CPA to make sure. And lastly, these prices are subject to change at any time, so be sure to check Tesla's website for the most up-to-date pricing. Now, since 2023 seems like a great time to buy a Tesla, you might be tempted to splurge on a new car instead of investing money in this treacherous stock market. And if you're like me, you're wondering if there are better ways to invest your money. Well, luckily, there's an asset class whose prices outpace the S&P 500 index over the last 26 years, including the record-setting growth following the 2008 crash. This asset class is predicted to skyrocket to $2.6 trillion, almost doubling in just three years. For decades, you would have needed an Elon Musk-sized bank account to invest in it, but now you just need today's sponsor, Masterworks. This art investing platform is not only revolutionizing the way people invest without needing millions of dollars, but also it's realizing some amazing results for members. In just the last three months, Masterworks delivered 10%. 13% and 35% net returns to their investors. That's tens of million dollars in total last year paid out to people just like you and me. Now with over 630,000 users, demand is so high, Masterworks offerings can sell out in minutes, but Masterworks has generously offered a limited number of VIP passes for my subscribers to skip the waitlist right now. Just click the link in the description below to get started. Now let's start with the Model 3, which is Tesla's smallest and most affordable vehicle. It's a sporty four-door sedan. It's the only current Tesla that comes in a single motor rear-wheel drive option, which starts at $45,130 with 272 miles of range and a zero to 60 speed of 5.8 seconds, which is Tesla's slowest acceleration. Now, one special feature about the single motor Model 3 is that it currently uses a lithium ion phosphate battery, which is a different battery chemistry than all other Teslas. This allows you to charge daily to 100%, which is a nice little perk compared to the NCA batteries on other models that can only be charged to 90% for daily driving in order to preserve the battery life. The dual motor all-wheel drive Model 3 comes in two variants, long range, which is actually not currently available, but says it will be sometime in 2023. So that pricing for that is unknown at this time, but it will be cheaper than the performance model and should have the longest range for any Model 3 variant at around 360 miles and a zero to 60 speed of around 4.2 seconds. While the performance Model 3 starts at $55,630, with a range of 315 miles and the quickest acceleration of any Model 3 going zero to 60 in 3.1 seconds. Now a performance Model 3 automatically comes with the performance upgrade package, which includes 20 inch Uber turbine wheels, performance brakes, carbon fiber spoiler, aluminum alloy pedals, and track mode. All non-performance Model 3s come with 18 inch aero wheels or can be upgraded to 19 inch sport wheels for $1,500. But the larger wheels will slightly decrease the estimated range. So for me, I chose the 18 inch aero wheels on my Model 3 to maximize range and usually I always recommend them, but if you absolutely hate the way they look, the aero wheels, you can easily pop them off and reveal a nice looking rim underneath. Now the only free paint is pearl white multi-coat, while premium paints such as midnight silver, deep blue metallic, solid black, or red multi-coat will cost $1,000 to $2,000 depending on the color. I have a red Model 3 and it's absolutely gorgeous because it kind of changes shade depending on the lighting. But when I got my car, white was not a free color. And if I bought one today, I'd probably stick with the white because the white Model 3 with aero wheels is not only the most affordable, but I honestly think it looks the best. All interiors include an expansive tinted glass roof with ultraviolet and infrared protection, a 15 inch landscape touchscreen display, an integrated center console with deep storage and wireless charger that can charge two phones at the same time, two front and two rear USB-C ports, all vegan interior, premium audio system with immersive sound, Bluetooth integration, a USB port in the glove box, 
with a 128 gigabyte portable storage device included for automatic dash cam and sentry mode video recording, plus power adjustable front seats, heated front and rear seats, and a heated steering wheel. The all black interior has a wood veneer dash that comes standard, or you can upgrade to the black and white interior for $1,000. Now I chose the black interior for both of my Teslas because I didn't want to spend the extra money or time for seats that are usually harder to keep clean. All Model 3s also come with an automatic trunk. The Model 3 is probably best for you if you meet the following criteria. You prefer a sportier car that sits low to the ground. You don't need a hatchback or much storage space. You want the best bang for buck Tesla as far as quickness and range for the cost goes. And you want the most energy efficient Tesla for the ultimate savings. I've owned mine for almost five years and it's been absolutely fantastic. It's so much fun to drive. Now the Model Y is Tesla's most affordable SUV and is essentially just a larger version of the Model 3, but with a hatchback instead of a trunk. In fact, the Model Y and Model 3 share about 75% of the same parts. Now the Model Y comes in three different all-wheel drive configurations, standard range, long range, and performance. Now the standard range Model Y is the newest option is currently the only one with the new 4680 next generation batteries from Giga Texas. But it's also not available on Tesla's order page and can only be found periodically through Tesla's new inventory search when they're in stock. Now the most recent starting price for that was about $2,000 cheaper than the long range Model Y and it comes with 279 miles of estimated range. The long range Model Y starts at $56,630 with a range of 330 miles and a zero to 60 speed of 4.8 seconds and comes with 19 inch Gemini wheels or 20 inch induction wheels for $2,000, which will also decrease the estimated range slightly to 318 miles. Now the Model Y performance starts at 59,630 with a range of 303 miles and a zero to 60 speed of 3.5 seconds and comes with the performance upgrade package, which includes an increased top speed, 21 inch Uber turbine wheels, performance brakes, lowered suspension, aluminum alloy pedals, and carbon fiber spoiler. The paint options and prices are the same as the Model 3. White is free while all the others cost extra. An optional tow hitch costs $1,000 and the interior features and options are pretty much the exact same as the Model 3 with the option of the standard black interior or upgraded white interior. But the Model Y has one more extra option for seating. It comes standard with a five seat interior but can be upgraded to seven seats which includes a third row seating for two I've personally never been inside the seven seater Model Y, but from the looks of it, the third row is very small, so don't expect to fit two full-size adults back there for very long drives. Now the Model Y is expected to become the best-selling car in the entire world this year, which is insane to think about, but it's not too surprising given this car has a lot to like. Long range, quick performance, all-wheel drive, and ample room for cargo and passengers. My wife and I love our long range Model Y and I always call it Tesla's best overall vehicle that will be adequate for most people. It's ideal for you if you meet the following criteria. You prioritize size and space for cargo and families. You prefer an easier car to get in and out of with a higher vantage point for seeing the road better or you just prefer the convenience of a hatchback. Now next up are the Model S and Model X, which I'll talk about together since they share many features and since they have a smaller customer base given their prices start around six figures. Now the Model S is Tesla's flagship vehicle, a powerful sleek four-door sedan that has the longest range of any current Tesla vehicle and is the quickest accelerating electric vehicle in production right now. The Model X is Tesla's high-performing SUV with the most power and quickest acceleration of any SUV on the market and has the most cargo room of any current Tesla vehicle. They both are all-wheel drive with automatic hatchbacks, but the Model X has Falcon wing style doors that open upward, which can be either a selling point for some of people or a huge turnoff for others. The Model S and Model X both have the same brand new redesigned interior with a 17 inch landscape display, ventilated and heated seats, tri-zone temperature controls, and a HEPA filtration. They also have in-car gaming with wireless control compatibility, multi-device Bluetooth, wireless and USB-C charging for every passenger, and Tesla's best audio system to date, including 22 speakers with active road noise reduction. And both models also come with the redesigned second row with a smaller screen on the back of the center console for the backseat passengers. They both also now come with the option of a regular steering wheel or a yoke, but whichever one you choose, they both lack stalks. So you'll have to instead rely on touch capacitive buttons to turn the turn signals on, and you'll have to rely on the touchscreen to change driving gears. 
Now the Model S is built for speed and range and claims to have the lowest drag coefficient on Earth and can still seat up to five adults with fold flat seats, while the Model X has the most storage space and towing capacity of any electric SUV with seating up to seven adults. Both the Model S and Model X come in two variants, dual motor or tri-motor. The dual motor Model S starts at $96,630 with the most range of any Tesla right now at 405 miles and a zero to 60 speed of 3.1 seconds, which is the same as the Performance Model 3. The tri-motor Model S costs $20,000 more than the dual motor and has a range of 396 miles and the quickest 0-60 to speed of any current Tesla at 1.99 seconds. Both Model S versions come with 19-inch Tempest wheels included or you can upgrade to 21-inch Arachnid wheels for $4,500 which decreases the range slightly. Now switching over to the Model X, the dual motor starts at $111,630 with a range of 351 miles and 0-60 to speed of 3.8 seconds while the tri-motor Model X costs $10,000 more and has a range of 333 miles and a 0-60 to speed of 2.5 seconds, which is crazy fast for something that big. Now the Model X comes with 20-inch Cyberstream wheels included but can be upgraded to 22-inch turbine wheels for $5,500, which slightly decreases the range. And just like with the Model 3 and Model Y, the white is the only free paint color while the others cost extra. The interiors come in black as standard, but can be upgraded to white or cream for $2,000. And the Model X comes with five seats standard, but can be upgraded to six seats for $6,500 or seven seats for $3,500. And no, you didn't hear that wrong. The seven seater Model X is cheaper than the six seater Model X. And adding seats does decrease the range slightly. Now the Model S and X are extremely expensive, but they are the best vehicles that Tesla currently offers as far as range, performance, and features go. I spent a full day driving a Tesla Model S Plaid a couple of years ago and it took my breath away. Like literally it did. It's extremely fast. It was the most luxurious Tesla I've ever been in and the interior is much more feature rich compared to my Model 3 and my Model Y. Now the storage space, the head and leg room, and seat comfort were superior to my Model 3 in every way. However, I was not a big fan of the touch capacitive buttons and lack of stalks. The Model S is probably best for you if you meet the following criteria. You have a large budget and want the most range or best performance, or you just prefer a sedan but the Model 3 is too small. As far as the Model X goes, I have never driven one and don't ever plan to. It's so expensive and more than I would ever need, but the Model X may be for you if you meet the following criteria. You have a large family and the Model Y isn't big enough. You need the most storage space possible. You have an extremely large budget and don't mind the added complexity of the Falcon wing doors, or you just prefer the Falcon wing door design due to some kind of disability or ease of entry concern. Now the last two vehicles are the Cybertruck and Roadster, and these are not in production yet, and we don't really know when they will start deliveries, although the Cybertruck is rumored to begin deliveries sometime in 2023. But the Roadster will not make its debut until at least next year in 2024. Now the Cybertruck is a futuristic truck with a stainless steel exoskeleton and will have a ton of cool features like Tesla armor glass, up to 3,500 pounds of payload capacity, adjustable air suspension, 100 cubic feet of exterior, lockable storage, 17 inch center mounted touchscreen, and seating up to six people. And it was first announced as starting around $40,000 for single motor, $50,000 for dual motor, and $70,000 for tri motor. But Tesla has since removed the prices from the website, so we don't really know what the final price will be. And Elon has said that the initial Cybertrucks will be quad motor, so we have no idea what that pricing will be if that is true. Unfortunately, the only people who will get a Cybertruck this year in 2023 are employees or super early reservation holders from 2019. Now, right now you can place an order for $100, which is fully refundable, but if you are just now ordering, you'll have a long time to wait. But if you want the craziest, most useful, and biggest Tesla with the most unique features, this is obviously the one for you. Now, finally, the second generation Roadster is last on Tesla's priority list. It will be the quickest Tesla ever made and quite possibly the quickest car in the world with possibly the most range of any electric vehicle at 620 miles. It's a two-door supercar, but will have a small back seat that can probably fit kids or small adults. It has a removable glass roof that stores in the trunk, an all-new interior with a curved portrait touchscreen for controls, and it only comes in an all-wheel drive tri-motor version, but may be changed to quad motor depending on the final design. And the most insane rumor is the optional SpaceX package with thrusters on the back, which will launch this car like a rocket, only 
horizontally. <laughs> now, when it was first announced, the base was $200,000 and the Founder Series cost an additional $50,000. But given inflation, this price may change too. We'll just have to wait and see. But I'm looking forward to all of these new Tesla vehicles. No matter what you choose, they're all very exciting and fun to drive. So that wraps up the full list. I hope this video helped you understand the full 2023 Tesla vehicle lineup. Leave a comment down below. Let me, let me know if you have any questions and let me know which plan, which Tesla you are planning to get. I would love to find out. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Andy. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more Tesla and tech videos in the future. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'll talk to you in the next one.